Hey guys, it's me, Mark. You may have seen me in that video while we made for the ARC. Shut cool. up, Mark. No one cares. Get to the news, man. <clears throat> Tech news. My name is Mark and welcome to this week's Tech Recap. So you regularly watch this show, then I'm sure a part of the crowd that knows NVIDIA has announced their newest GeForce graphics cards. Oh, wait, wait, you just watched this show for Julia and you know nothing about what's happening in the tech news? Well, that makes sense, but allow me to tell you about it anyways. The new RTX graphics cards use ray tracing technology, which we went over last week after the announcement of the Quadro lineup. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Wang said that he would take 10 more years to reach full screen high speed ray tracing, but Nvidia's ray tracing technology looks to speed up that process with these new cards. Yesterday, the GeForce RTX 2080, 2080 Ti, and the 2070 graphics cards were announced. The 2080 is built upon the new 12 nanometer process with 2944 CUDA cores, 8GB of GDR6 memory. The 2080 Ti gets 4,352 CUDA cores and 11GB of GDDR6 memory. And the 2070 has 2304 CUDA cores with 8GB of GDR6 memory as well. The Ti gets the price tag of $1,200, while the 2070 is $599 and the 2080 is $799. You can pre-order now and the cards will ship on September 20th. So with this whole ray tracing thing, games have to adapt for gamers to experience the technology as it was meant to be used. Nvidia showed trailers from Battlefield 5, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and Metro Exodus, which were designed on the RTX platform. These games, along with hopefully many others to come, will feature real-time ray tracing that mimics light as we experience it in reality. Well, that's the idea anyways, but looking at these trailers, man, I'm down with ray tracing, guys. Next up, Huawei has gotten caught for false advertising. What? A company lying in their advertising? This is uh, unheard of. In an advertisement for Huawei's Nova 3 smartphone, a woman can be seen trying to delay her boyfriend from taking a picture until she has completed her makeup. He takes the photo anyways, and the ad is supposed to show off the ad's AI-driven beauty feature, which digitally altered the image to make it look as if she was already wearing makeup. But Huawei was caught in cold blood after the actress from the ad, Sarah El Shami, posted a behind the scenes shot on her Instagram, that very scene being shot on a DSLR camera. The Nova 3 wasn't anywhere in sight, but honestly, this isn't the worst thing ever, except that Huawei has been caught photoshopping away bezels on their P8 phone for an ad in the past. Do people really take ads like this seriously though? I'd say YouTube reviews are the best advertisers for new products. I mean, no one gets upset over fast food restaurants for making their burgers look like they're from heaven, am I right, guys? Help me out here. It never looks like it's on the menu, but you eat it anyway, and you like it. I like it. Let's move on. And Logitech has announced the G Pro Wireless Mouse, and it's already won an Overwatch League championship. See, there's a good example of marketing. Indeed, this mouse is truly for gamers, as it was designed with the help of more than 50 pro gamers and the Overwatch team London Spitfire used the G Pro to win the league championship. The mouse is ambidextrous and has detachable side buttons. The DPI toggle adjustment has been moved to the bottom of the mouse so you don't accidentally hit it during the game. For specs, it has a Hero 16K sensor. It goes from 100 to 60,000 DPI and tracks movements at more than 400 inches per second. Logitech also claims the mouse is 10 times more energy efficient as it lasts 48 hours on a charge. The mouse is 150 bucks. Logitech also announced its MX Vertical Advanced Ergonomic Mouse. It looks super weird, but it's said to reduce muscular strain by 10% with its ergonomic design. It creates a more natural position for your hand, so there's less pressure on your wrist and will result in four times less hand movement. Anyways, you're probably gonna want the G Pro for gaming because that will be better for more intense, rapid movement. But uh, if you're a chill office worker kind of person, then you might want to check the MX uh, thing out. Now it's time for overly enthusiastic news. And Gamescom just started, so let's talk about a few games. EA has announced a beta for Battlefield 
5, which will begin on September 4th for people who pre-ordered it and will open up to everyone on September 6th. That's super fast. As we already know, the full game will be released on October 19th. That's four days after my birthday, if you're wondering. Let's go, birthday party. Yay, I'm so happy and excited. Blows kisses to everyone. <laughs> Damn it, it's in parentheses. More beta news, hooray. The beta for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Blackout is coming to PC and Xbox One on September 14th. PS4 owners can start playing though on September 4th, and that's not fair. That's okay though, I don't mind. We're PC Master Race anyway. City Project Red had a presentation for Cyberpunk 2077 at GamesCon, but they didn't have any more video to show. They did show off some of the new screenshots though, and the game continues to look amazing. Amazing! Amazing! <laughs> okay. After two years, Amazon is discontinuing its video game pre-order discount program for Prime members on August 28th. The 20% discount is being replaced by a $10 credit for select titles. The credit will take 35 days to arrive and once activated, customers will have 60 days to use it. That's not the best news ever, huh? but I'm still very, very enthusiastic. Don't you worry, life's great. It's sunny outside. Let's have a good time. Oh my goodness. Barrett, your, your laughing is contagious. <laughs> Netflix is also beginning to test advertisements for their other shows between binge watching the shows you're currently watching. So after an episode, your viewing will be interrupted by an advertisement before your next episode begins. Well, that's, that's uh, that's still cool, you know what? Again, it's great weather, we're having a good time, you know, like we rode a bike to the work today. It's, it's, it's good. It's so nice outside. It's wonderful, it's great. I can feel it even though I'm inside. <laughs> That's it for Tech Recap this week. As always, you can click here to subscribe, you can click here for more videos, and follow us on social media right over here. And click on Mike's Computer Shop Square over here in the link below to shop computers and electronics. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the news today. I know I did. Actually, this is the best I've ever no, felt. You, you only have 20 seconds, but you gotta get up. But it's, it feels good. No, no, no,